Hello Gemini, welcome to your next 48 to 72 hours reading. So Gemini, these messages are timeless. Whenever you click on the video, that's when the message or messages can resonate the most. They're also general, so not every message will be for you. Just take what applies and leave the rest. So I'm going to go ahead and tap into your energy and see what is the message. Spirit, give me some energy for Gemini. What is the energy for the next 48 to 72? What would you like for Gemini to know? Next 48 to 72. Messages for Gemini. Next 48 to 72, Spirit. What would you like for Gemini to know at this time? What is the energy? Okay. Hostilities. Okay. So the number um, 26, 2 or 6, the number 8 can be significant. Door to personal healing and happiness. The number 7, 34, 43, 3 or 4 could be significant as well here. Let's get some more messages. Why is hostilities here? So this is my Five of Swords card. Give me another energy for hostilities. Why is hostilities here? And my Ace of Cups, the door to personal healing and happiness. Why is hostilities here for Gemini? What is the message? Why is hostilities here for Gemini? What's the energy spirit? Why is hostilities here? Okay. Catfish. Someone is not who they appear to be okay give me one for door to personal healing and happiness why is this here what is the message for gemini next 48 to 72 what is the energy oh okay so we have gratitude but it flipped out in the reverse Show more gratitude and hidden. You're hiding from your true self. Okay. So let's see what all of this is. Okay. Spirit, give me a message for hostilities. Why is hostilities here for Gemini? What is the message? Why is hostilities here for Gemini? What is the energy spirit? Why is hostilities here? Okay, the seven of pentacles. Give me another energy for hostilities. The king of swords. Somebody could have been um, invested too long when it came to um, a lot of drama. Somebody could feel like they always have to defend themselves. Like somebody feels like it's just been um, a very long term investment. Like they gave too much to a whole bunch of nonsense. I feel like that's what somebody's realizing. That's what they're starting to see. They always have to be on the defense. Like, it's just a lot. And it's been a long time that this person has been dealing with this. Somebody's in heavy reflection mode. Somebody's, like, really starting to pay more attention what they give their time and their energy to. Yeah, it's kind of like, I've been dealing with this for too long. I've been dealing with this drama, this confusion for too long. I've been too invested in this. Let me pull back type of energy. Give me a message for the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here for Gemini? What is the energy? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here for Gemini? What is the message? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Okay. The two of wands. Somebody could be planning to move, relocate. Somebody could live in the city. This is giving me like New York vibes. Um, San Francisco. 
Chicago. I'm here in Cooper City. Give me another energy on the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? And then I'm um hearing the theme song Hang In with Mr. Cooper. Somebody could play basketball, be a basketball coach. Um, somebody could be a teacher here. Somebody's name could be Cooper. I have the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like somebody's starting to hold back here. Somebody's really starting to conserve their energy. This is giving me with the two of wands to the four of pentacles. It's like <sighs> somebody's realizing they deserve more. They don't want to give in to something any longer. They've been investing into a situation for far too long. And now they are reclaiming their power. Give me another energy on the two of wands. I feel like this person is planning on moving forward. Or Gemini, this is the king of swords here. You're planning on moving forward. You're ready to take action. Um, you could be keeping your plans a secret. But I feel like somebody's working. Like just working behind the scenes. Like working to get out of something. You know, to get away from a situation or someone. Give me an energy on the two of wands. Why is the two of wands here for Gemini? Yep, the nine of wands. I'm telling you. Somebody is planning on getting up out of a situation. Whatever the situation is, hostilities, it ain't nothing but drama. And they're keeping this to themselves. Somebody's being very guarded, very protective over their plans. But they're holding back and they're not really saying anything. Um, I'm hearing aloof. I feel like people are starting to sense that something's off, that something's wrong. But you're still not saying nothing. You're keeping it to yourself. Give me another energy on the Four of Pentacles. It's kind of like you're working in secret. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Like somebody could literally be planning an entire move. <laughs> somebody is like planning an entire move here and it's not telling anyone. This is giving me the energy like you show up to this person's home and nobody's there. The whole house or the whole apartment is empty. Give me an energy for the Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here for Gemini? What is the message? Why is the Four of Pentacles here for Gemini? What is the energy spirit? Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Ooh. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? The Two of Cups. So for some of you, um, somebody could be planning on going towards someone else, someone new, working on another relationship. Somebody wants to invest somewhere else and they plan on traveling towards this person, but they're keeping it to themselves. Yeah, somebody's keeping something hidden here about a relationship that they want to be in. They're being very quiet as they plan, as they, you know, be strategic in how they move. Because it's like they know whoever it is that they are walking away from with this hostility is going to try to cause drama, a lot of confusion. And, and they're trying to, um, they're trying to avoid that. Give me an energy on the King of Swords. No, give me something on the Two of Cups. Why is the Two of Cups here for Gemini? What is the message? The Eight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, this person knows who they want to be with. It's like whoever this person is currently with, who they are walking away from, they know this is not it. Like catfish. Like somebody's realizing that they were sold a dream here. Somebody was catfish. This person definitely was not who they showed themselves to be initially. I'm, I feel as if the mask has fallen off and this person does not like what they see, what they have to deal with. Somebody could have showed up as being very peaceful and loving and caring and nurturing and, oh, I'm here for you, you know, in the beginning. And now it's like a war zone. Give me an energy on the King of Swords. Why? Oh, let me put this here. <laughs> Give me an energy on the King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here for Gemini? What is the message? Why is the King of Swords here for Gemini? What is the energy?
Why is the King of Swords here? The Hierophant. Yeah, somebody already knows who they want to commit to. I feel like for some of you, this person is coming in and bringing you a love offer. Or you're going towards someone to bring them an offer of commitment. It's like no denying it. <laughs> who this person, you know, sees their Two of Cups as. Give me another energy on the King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here for Gemini? What is the energy? Why is the King of Swords here for Gemini? What is the message? Why is the King of Swords here, Spirit? What's the energy? King of Wands in the reverse. So for some of you, wow, okay. So this person like could have made a decision to already commit to someone. This is giving me like they moved in together, they could be engaged, or this person could just, you know, have gotten into a relationship. But I feel like these two people are not married yet. This person has made a decision not to move forward with the commitment. So whether this person is like, you know, okay, I don't want to live with you. I'm not going to let this person move in with me. Or if they are already living together, I'm going to move out. Or we're engaged. We're calling off the engagement. That's what this is. Somebody's realizing that whoever they chose, like, that's not their two of cups. This person is a fake. Like, this person has been wearing a mask the entire time. Somebody has caught on to the scheme. That's what this is. Give me another energy for the Hierophant. Somebody could have Taurus highly aspected. Give me another energy for the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here for Gemini? What is the message? Why is the Hierophant here for Gemini? What is the energy? Ooh, we the Queen of Swords. Yeah, this person already knows who they want to commit to. That's what this is. Look at this judgment at the bottom of the deck. For some of you, this is going to be a reconciliation, but somebody wants to come in, give you an offer. Give me another energy on the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here? Yep, the Magician, Virgo and Gemini. This is your energy as well. So, yeah, somebody's manifesting here. Somebody's manifesting um, a commitment, a relationship. Now, for some of you, I'm getting as well, like whoever this person is walking away from, they're manifesting this masculine back towards them to give them a commitment. Like this person, this Queen of Swords wants to be this masculine's divine counterpart, wants to be this person's Two of Cups. But this masculine already knows that this Queen of Swords is not their Two of Cups. This is somebody who's, I'm hearing like um, fake identity, stolen identity. This is somebody that wants to... Um, make this masculine believe that she's his person she's his counterpart his kingdom spouse give me an energy on the king of wands in the reverse why is the king of wands in the reverse here for gemini what is the energy so yeah somebody's planning here somebody's planning to go towards someone and they're leaving the other party out in the cold because they see that this person is fake give me another energy on the king of wands in the reverse why is this here for Gemini? What is the message? Yep, look at this. The Knight of Swords. This person... <laughs> this person is getting out of Dodge Pass. I'm telling you, listen. Somebody is planning. Like, they're working over time to plan their escape from the situation. And they plan on doing this quickly. Somebody wants to leave very quickly without any without much chaos or drama if they could avoid it all together that is great i'm even hearing like in the middle of the night so for some of you this person could even be planning on leaving in the middle of the night but somebody is like i am out of here it is done i can't do this anymore and they're being very guarded over their plans here give me one more energy for the king of wands why is the king of wands here
Fly King of Wands here for Gemini. What is the message? Death and rebirth. Yeah. Yeah, somebody's putting an end to a situation here. Somebody's calling off a wedding. Yeah. This person is leaving. They're done. I feel like this person has went through an awakening. For some of you, this person was going through this transformation while they were in this relationship. Yeah, but it's like somebody's seeing things clearly now. They're viewing the whole situation very differently and, and they don't want to be stuck. Yeah, so somebody's planning on getting out of this before they get any deeper into it. Give me an energy for hostilities and catfish. I feel like it's going to be a lot of people that doesn't agree with this person. A lot of people maybe trying to attack this masculine verbally, having a lot to say. There's going to be a lot of gossip here. It's kind of like um, there's going to be people trying to force this masculine to stay in this relationship, but it's a no-go. <laughs> Give me an energy for hostilities and catfish. Why is this here for Gemini? Wow, the King of Cups in the reverse and the Three of Cups in the reverse. So this, this person don't care. I'm telling you, this person is going to defend. If they have to, they're going to defend their decision. This person does not care. Yeah, this person wants to go towards new love. And I feel like this masculine is going to be very cold when it comes to these other people, these friends. Yeah, somebody's realizing also that whoever they were hanging around really was not their friends. Yeah, that they were pretty much trying to manipulate this person into a relationship to give to someone. This person is going to have their guard up because now they're seeing the true colors of everyone. They're seeing that, no, this was not my friend. For some of you, this person's even realizing like certain family members are not really for them either. Like, yeah, this person is going to cut a lot of people off and it's going to be very cold towards them. Because it's like they're trying to force this person to give this Ace of Cups to someone that is fake, catfish, that is not real, that is not being their authentic self, that is wearing a mask. It's like somebody seeing that whoever this, these friends are, the, these family members are, they really don't care about them. That's what this is. They're really not for them. They're for the other person. They're working on the other team. They're working against them. Give me an energy for door to personal healing and happiness. Why is this here? Why is door to personal healing and happiness here for Gemini? What's the message? Why is door to personal healing and happiness here for Gemini? The seven of swords. Look. Lies. The lies have been exposed or they're about to be. The manipulation is being exposed. And for some of you, this person's friends and family was in on this to get this person to commit to this queen of swords. But somebody got out just in the nick of time. The lies are coming out just in the nick of time. This person is going towards their real ace of cups. Door to personal healing and happiness. Whatever is coming out is leading this person on a new path towards something great, towards their fulfillment. For some of you, this person is about to start their healing journey. Yeah, but the lies are coming to the forefront. I feel like for some of you, this is also this person no longer lying to themselves. Somebody tried to stay in the situation like somebody was going to force this to work. If this person had not awakened to the truth, they were going to stick this out knowing this person knew something was off, but they weren't going to dig a little bit deeper. But that's where divine intervention comes into play. Spirit was probing at this person to take a closer look. And now they have to face the truth. Somebody was just going to, they was going to be in this, trust me, for some of y'all, this person was going to go through with this marriage, this commitment. They was going to be in this relationship with this queen of swords, knowing for some of you, this person, know they didn't have any feelings for this energy, knowing they were not in love, but pretending like they were in front of family, friends who really don't even care about them. Give me an energy for show gratitude. Why is show more gratitude here in the reverse for a Gemini? What is the message? Why is show more gratitude here for Gemini? What is the energy? The 
Ten of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Um, something's coming out about a betrayal here. Some type of truth. Communication is coming out about a betrayal. This is something that happened in the past. Something that um, people may have forgot about. And particularly this Queen of Swords. Yeah, something um, is coming to light about a betrayal here. Gratitude in the reverse. I feel like this person is not going to um, like the fact that the truth is being exposed. Something happened um, in the past. And this information is coming out unexpectedly. And for some of you, this is what's going to be the nail in the coffin. Somebody's going to be realizing they were betrayed. And this is giving me with gratitude in the reverse, like I almost had him. We almost had him. Like that's how this Queen of Swords and I'm hearing her family is going to feel. Like they almost had this masculine in their grasp. They almost got this person to commit to walk down the aisle. And then out of the blue, information regarding this Ten of Swords is going to come to light. And they're not going to like it. Somebody going to be upset. And then I'm hearing they're not going to understand how or why, like, why me? Like, this person really is going to feel as if they were wronged in the situation, even though whoever this Queen of Swords is has something to do with this betrayal. Hiding from your true self, I'm telling you, like, somebody's very underhanded here. Somebody likes to get things by any means necessary. It doesn't matter who they hurt, who they have to step on. Tell me more about the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here for Gemini? What is the energy? Why is the Ten of Swords here for Gemini? What is the energy? Yeah, something's coming out about a betrayal. Yes, in the past. Somebody thought they were going to sweep this under the rug. was going to get married and move on. Uh -uh. Gratitude in the reverse. This person is not happy about this information coming out. The Queen of Cups. So this betrayal has to do with a Queen of Cups energy. So this is this person's counterpart. This masculine could have been cold towards this Queen of Cups energy with this King of Cups being in the reverse due to some information, something that was told to him. The truth about that, it, thank you, Spirit. God is so real. Whatever was told to this masculine was a lie when it came to this Queen of Cups. And so that's why this person walked away, moved in another direction. But the truth is coming out about this Queen of Cups, who this Queen of Cups actually is. The lies that were told. And for some of you, it started with this Queen of Swords. This person did a lot behind the scenes to get this offer. But now the lies are being exposed and somebody's getting left. Competition. Somebody likes to compete, but they play real dirty, grimy. Let's pull a, a final message. Confirmation. The train. Spirit, why is this important for the next 48 to 72? Yeah, somebody like to throw a rock and hide their hand and act like they innocent. No, this person is very methodical. They, This person planned this. Ten of Wands. Somebody was very burdened in this relationship. This masculine was very burdened, had a lot of weight, responsibilities. I feel like whoever they're walking away from is still trying to hold on to them. Somebody don't want to release this person. That's why this masculine has to do things the way he's doing it. Has to fly under the radar because he knows this Queen of Swords. And something about her family because I keep hearing her family. So her family plays a big role in all of this. But it's like 
this energy does not want to let this masculine go so that's why he's doing things in secret because he already knows it's going to be a struggle and i'm telling you this person's trying to get out of their fast this person could be working hard trying to save up their money here trying to build back up their stability their finances i feel like for some of you we're um they were in the process of getting married i'm hearing like they had already paid for a lot of things for the wedding so this person could have spent a lot of money on you know decorations and entertainment and food yeah this is giving me like left at the altar type of energy so yeah this masculine has to build back up his finances because he's already spent money on this wedding let's pull the final message I feel like this Queen of Swords and her family just seen this masculine as a bag. Spirit, give me a final message for Gemini. What is the energy? Give me a final message for Gemini. What is the energy? Final message for Gemini, Spirit. What is the message? Okay. Time for adventure. Turn waiting into living. Be spontaneous. Try new things. If not now, when? Yes. This person is no longer holding back. Like this person does not want to suffer in this relationship. Time for adventure. This masculine energy is ready to try something new. Is ready to be happy. It's ready to live. Because this person was just existing in this other connection. But now they want to live. They want to be free. They don't want the ten of wands. They want the Ten of Cups. They want the Ten of Pentacles. Not the Ten of... They don't want to be burdened. A relationship should not come with burdens. Especially you, especially when you're not even married to the person. I mean, you know, you're engaged, but you haven't even walked down the aisle yet. And you at the Ten of Wands. <laughs> like, no. This is not life. That's what somebody is realizing. And then we have all this temporary it's okay not to feel your best. Like the moon, we go through phases. Give yourself time to get your groove back. This too will soon pass. Yeah. And what's standing out to me is we go through phases. I feel like this is just a phase that this masculine had to go through. A lesson that this masculine had to learn about being true to himself. About doing what's right for him and not doing what's right for other people. Also about doing his research, his homework, giving things time, trusting his intuition. And I'm hearing force, yeah, not allowing people to push him into certain situations, relationships, something about force, like people trying to really force this queen of swords up on this masculine, you know, learning how to set boundaries with people. That's what this person needed to learn. So, Gemini, this is your reading. I hope it resonates. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.